Pixar has had a phenomenal success at hitting them out of the park. And I didn't think that two could be as good as one because it was so, one was so complete. Two broadened it up a little bit. Three drilled it. And then when the Andy said goodbye and the, the last shot is off on the porch, which I re, if I recall, that was the last shot of the movie, supposed to be. But again, my memory is that the, the little girls, Bonnie said, saw us. You go, wait a minute, she could probably take care of us. And you're thinking to yourself in preliminary look at it, hey, the, why not? And then they came up with four, and it changed many times. The very the, the story changed. I only got snippets of it. And I said, of course, I is is Buzz got a bigger part? And then besides just going, always watching Woody's back. Woody, look out! Look out, Woody! <laughs> it seemed to me for a while that's what I was saying. And it, it's the story they came up with, but in a different variation. And I said, yeah, that it was. Any chance to, do, I love these characters. I love playing Buzz, I, so yeah, I said, I was all in. It was a long way to go to say, Toy Story 4, yes. From my point of view, you find uh, uh, Woody's expanded sense of, is it possible to say his expanded sense of real? And Buzz's limitations. In a very funny way, Buzz doesn't have a consciousness, which is probably one of the best one of the biggest laughs to me to do it, and of course I don't get to do this with my buddy Tom, but he's having a, a crisis of confidence and he wonders to himself, and he says, I've just, having this, I can't get the line right, I don't remember, but he said, I, I just wondered to myself, and his voice keeps telling me that I should go after Bonnie or something, and I lean in and go, who do you think it is? And it's, it's so buzz, and he goes, my inner voice, yeah, I get it. Who is it? Like I can't, I can't even fathom another voice in me talking. And Buzz is so linear and so who I wish I was. He was so duty oriented. He's engaged only in one thing, and he finds a new, an inner voice. But it's plastic, and it's, but it it works for Buzz. I'm nothing without Woody, because he really gave me my personality. Because it was all like, what I see no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Hello, ha. That's the beginning of it. My uh, sense of being was created by looking at that cowboy, and I, I get to bounce off of him. In a weird way, Buzz now has to stand on his own two feet, and he does. He, he's, he is who he is, which is great. And Woody also has to expand who he is, which he's a remarkable character, you know, because he's constantly thinking about how it affects other toys which is a metaphor to me, a person who's constantly concerned about other people. His matter-of-factness reminds me a little bit of Buzz because he's innocent, so innocent, but he's got a, um, a personality tick that he thinks he's trash because he's literally made of trash out of a wastebasket, so that's where he constantly wants to return to. And his... his um, point of view is so fresh for this because he's a throwaway. None of us were throwaway. We were all bought. We're not, you know, we're bought boxes, went to a store. However, our creation was, his creation was a little girl made him. So it makes him very special to humans, not so special to himself. And certainly we're, we're open to it. It's a toy. She loves him. He's accepting it, but it opens up a great world of un unacceptable things and throwaway items and throwaway toys, but there's still a value. It, it's a tremendously um, illuminating plot. I just love where they're going with this. Well, now Duke Kaboom was kind of an emotional problem for me because when I first heard him, if you got him a little larger, he's kind of buzz-like. And I told the I told them that, and I, th I told Keanu the same thing, and he thought the same thing. He was, he's going, you know, it got to be a bit kind of bravado like Buzz. And I said, so he made some adjustments, but he was so kind that he said, I don't want to get into the Buzz world. I says, no, you know, I don't want to be walking through town in the John Wick world, you know, or Neo, for the love, for the love of God. So he made some adjustments. I read the first draft, and it was, that was good. And then there was a a working animation that was almost like I think better than Toy Story 1. I mean the technology that overall this thing is so beautifully shot. It's so rich. You, it's almost startling. 
the the hair on the hair on the kid's head and every it was amazing looking at uh, the Bonnie's eyes it was a lot of it was amazing